Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make some red and black spiral shirts. The shirts were prepped like normal and I have them turned inside out. I'm just going to show how I spiraled or tied one shirt. I did the other two the same way. I used a pair of locking tweezers and started the spiral just about level with the armpits of the shirt. Once the shirt was spiraled, I held all the folds in place with some rubber bands. Before I begin applying the dye, I'm going to use a washable marker and place some lines on the shirt to use as guidelines for my dye application. I'm taking each one of the lines through the center of the spiral. On the first shirt, I've divided the shirt into eight sections, and in four of those sections, I'm placing Fire Red from Dharma Trading Company. In the remaining four sections, I'm going to use Raven Black from Dharma. I'm going to turn the shirt over and repeat the same dye pattern on the back side of the shirt. Except this time on the back side of the shirt, I'm going to place a very light coat of Raven Black over the top of the Fire Red. I don't want it to overtake the Fire Red, but I do want some black lines coming through the red. Then I'm going to turn the shirt back over and allow it to process with the side that's all black on the bottom. I don't want too much of the black to flow through to the front side of the shirt and just overtake the shirt. So I'm going to let gravity work with me and put the black side down. On the second spiral, I divided that shirt into eight sections as well, but I thought that it was a little too much on the first shirt. So I went ahead and just dyed four of the sections. So two of the sections across from each other, I'm going to dye using Chinese red from Dharma Trading Company. In the other two sections, I'm going to use Raven Black.
Then just like on the first shirt, I'm going to turn the shirt over and repeat the dye pattern on the back, but this time I'm going to add some raven black over the top of the Chinese red. I'm also going to turn the shirt back over after I've completed the back side and allow the shirt to process with the black side down. On the final spiral, I'm only going to dye four sections of this shirt as well. I'm using Fire Red from Dharma on two of the sections across from each other, and I'm going to use Raven Black on the final two sections. This shirt is a different kind of shirt. This one is a ring spun cotton shirt. The first two shirts are Gildan Ultra Cotton shirts, so the fabric is just a little different on them. When I applied the fire red to the front side of the shirt, I made sure it was coming through really well to the back side of the shirt because I'm not going to apply any more fire red to the back side of the shirt. I'm just adding raven black to the entire back side. I am going to start by applying the raven black to the area where I applied raven black to the front side of the shirt. I want to make sure I get that area well saturated before I move on to applying over the top of where the fire red should go. I don't want quite as much black over the top of the fire red portion. Then I'm going to turn this shirt back over to the front side and allow it to process as well. I left the shirts for about 24 to 48 hours before I began rinsing them. To rinse the shirts, I took them to my utility sink and rinsed them in cold water to rinse out the soda ash, then untied them and warmed the water up to hot to try to rinse out any excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. I rinsed each one of them individually, but then I soaked them all together since the colors were very similar. I ran some hot water in my utility sink, added a little splash of blue Dawn dish detergent, and I allowed them to soak. I kept changing out the water as it would cool off, 
and continued the soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirts along with some Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed them using a hot water cycle. And after all the shirts were washed and dried, this is how they look. Okay, so what do you guys think? These are all the shirts in the order that they were on the rack. So the reason why I made three shirts that are pretty much all the same was because I had a special order from someone who had a pair of really cool Adidas shoes that were black and red. They looked like they were a spiral tie dye and they had lines running through the red. So I wanted to try to match the shoes as closely as possible. So I made three different shirts to see which one ended up being closer to the look of the shoes. Let's look at each shirt individually to start with. This was the first shirt that was divided into eight sections using Fire Red and Raven. I think that the black lines came through the Raven Black really well, which was the look that I was going for. And I do think that some of the sections of Raven Black right in the middle of the shirt look really cool. They almost look like butterflies. I do think though that compared to the other two shirts, this one is quite a bit busier. And because there are so many different lines going into the center of the spiral, it gets a little bit more muddied than the other two shirts. At least in the very center of the shirt it does. This is the second shirt that used Chinese red and raven, but was only divided into four sections. The black lines came through really well on this shirt too. I do have just a little bit of white on the outside of the Chinese red, but for the most part, the shirt got really good color saturation. I like the fact that this one is not quite as busy, and so the colors don't get quite as muddied right in the middle of the shirt. The Chinese red is a little bit more of a pink red too than the fire red, but it still is remaining a true red. I mean, it isn't so pink that it looks pink. By the way, both shirt number one and shirt number two are the Gildan Ultra Cotton shirts. This is the third shirt on the rack. It's the one where I used Fire Red and Raven Black. But this is the Ring Spun Cotton shirt. So the colors behaved a little bit differently on this shirt. I got good color saturation and I do have the black lines running through the shirt. But some of the colors split out of, I think the Raven, maybe a little bit of the fire red as well. And I have a little bit of weeping of a purple color on the shirt. That's coming from the Raven Black for sure. I find it interesting that it did that only on the ring spun cotton shirt and not on the Gildan Ultra Cotton shirt. All three of the shirts were tied at the same time, so they were all processed at the same time, just as damp at the same time they were dyed. Pretty much everything except the type shirt was the same. I actually kind of think that the purple lines in this shirt make it look cool though. It's something a little bit unexpected and I think it is a cool addition to the shirt. So I like all three of the shirts, but the second and the third one are my favorites. By the way, those are the ones that the customer chose as well. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this video and the content, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.